Hi, Frank again. Um, one of the frequently requested questions I get is, how do I superimpose names over my program out? Now, it's not that difficult. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. What you're going to do is first you're going to decide you know what your program out is, and I'm going to I'm going to pull up ME3 on my bus here, and I'm going to switch to it, and I'm going to show you. Okay, this is my ME3, um, and we're going to say how do I superimpose names of my students that are maybe anchors. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is, um, I usually like to use Graphics 2 because you may have noticed that uh, I have Graphics 1 is selected right here, down here in the monitor. So I'm going to use Graphics 2 so it doesn't interfere with those other graphics because they're, Graphics 1 usually I, I like to reserve for pictures, things around the school, maybe something you want to show during the new show. Uh, or if you want to do your school logo and show it on the monitor, or maybe if there's a monitor behind you. So uh, I usually choose Graphics 2. So I'm going to go down here to tab for Graphics 2, uh, which I've already have selected. Go to the plus. Now you'll see um, it, there's a section here on the media browser that says Titles. There is a plethora of graphics that you can use that are already uh, made for you and you can just modify them with names or you know it, you can make your own but for this one I'm going to pick a few there's basics there's brackets I'm going to pick electric green because I kind of like that color and I'm going to see what's available now there's several available here um, actually no it's emerald I wanted to pick emerald because I want to show you there's there's two different distinct ones that I want to show you. Here's the basic one, Emerald. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say OK. Now it shows up in your graphics too. So if you go down here and mouse over, you will see a little A, capital A, and a small A pop up. You're going to click on that. Now what's going to happen, it's going to open up this window, and it's your edit window. So I'm going to uh, type in, I'm going to click on it, and when it pops on, I'm going to type in a name. So I'm just going to put my name for now, because I'm the one in the shot. I'm just going to put Frank, and then I'm going to select OK. And down here, there's a, another uh, space for, for another title. So I'm going to just put, like, Anchor. But you could put whatever you want. You could put your school name if you wanted or something else. So now I have Frank Anchor. So it's already edited in there. I close that. So I already have that pre-designated before I start my show. You actually can do it live, but I don't recommend that. So if you know who your anchors are, uh, you can type it in ahead of time and have them ready. Now, this is going to be a downstream key that's going to go over top of your uh, program out. And the downstream keys are here. I'm going to close the next effect window so you don't get confused. But here are downstream keys right over here. You'll notice you can select what you want the downstream key to be. Downstream key 1 is graphics 1. You could change that if you want. Downstream key 2 is graphics 2. So that's what I want. I want downstream key graphics 2. Now, a couple things. You can, right now I have it set, the effect I have, the, uh, uh, the uh, mix that I have is actually a fade, which is, which is the default. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on the fade button, and then I'm going to show full screen, so you see what I got. And there it is. There's my anchor on, anchor off. Now you're saying, well, it's kind of okay, but it's way low. It's not where I want it. Well, the good news is you can position it. And remember, there's a lot of different ways to position things on the TriCaster, but for this one, you're going to click on the gear, and it's what's going to pop up, and I'm going to show you. Here's your, your normal tabs that you're going to go across, and here's downstream key 2. Now, what you're going to see is here's positioner, zoom, rotate, 
So he's got a lot of options here. So first thing I want to do is move the, is to position it. So I mouse over my positioner, I click, now I drag it. So I can put it wherever I want. So let's say I'm going to put it right over here so it's a little bit closer to me. And I'm going to say, well, you know, maybe I want it a little bit smaller. So now I'm going to mouse over, zoom, click on that, and position that, maybe make it a little bit smaller, put my position back here. Something like that. And we'll say, okay, that's good. So now, when I'm ready to do it, and I'm going to go full screen again so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit the fade button over here on the down screen G. I'll show you full screen. Click on that. And there it is. So again, you can position it the way you want. Take it off. Now, here's the other question. Well, I have two anchors. Do I have to do two downstream keys? And the answer is no. What you do is, and I'll show you the trick, go back to the edit, click on that. Now here, let's say uh, we had, you had two anchors and you had uh, Juan and you had Julie was the second anchor. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one and I'm going to space it over and put some spaces in between, just like that. Very simple. Now I'm going to close it. Now, when I bring it up, and I'll have to go full screen again so you can see what I'm doing. Now when I bring it up, I have the two names right here, Juan, Julie, or whoever. And you notice that there's a space in between and you can adjust that according to where they're sitting. And then again, um, you can put their full names or whatever you want. But basically, that's how you superimpose, is you just put it right over top of your program app to that. And I'm going to click on plus again. I'm going to go to my uh, titles, and I had it under Emerald. And here's one I want to show you. I'm going to choose this one. The difference with this one is it has a picture box. So let me show you full screen. I'm going to uh, edit it, go up here. Now you can see here there's a picture box. So you can, again, put the name in, and the, and the title could be your school news show, your school name. This could be your school logo, which is kind of interesting. Or it could be a picture, an actual picture of the, of the anchor. So let's say we wanted that. We're going to click on that. I'm going to um, click on that, and I'm going to come up and get my pictures. And I'm just going to, as an illustration, I'm going to pick one of these pictures. Let's say this was your school logo. And there it is. It pops up in the little picture. So it's kind of interesting. So let's go back. And now what I'm going to do, remember, these have to be selected for the right one to go out. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to go fade. I'm going to bring that in. And now I'm going to show you full screen. And now here we go. Um, got, you know, the superimpose, and I got, whoop, and I got the picture of the school logo over there. Now, obviously, that looks a little too big again. But remember, what you're going to do? We're going to go up. We're going to click on the little gear. We're going to go to position. I'm going to zoom that a little bit smaller, and I'm going to move it down so it kind of looks makes a little bit more sense. There you go. So let's take a look at that full screen again. We're going to go there. Okay, now that looks a little bit better. Remember, you're going to have names uh, down in here, and then that could be the school logo. So that's pretty much how you do superimposing. Not that difficult, uh, as you can see. There are, there are a lot of different choices. So you can have school colors, you can have high tech, or you can have simple. So not that hard, and I recommend that you do, do it during your show. It makes it look a little bit more uh, professional. And I think you'll find out and do it a couple times. It's not that difficult. Okay, thanks for watching.